Welcome to RK Tutorials. Solutions to Engineering Mechanics by S. Timoshenko, D. H. Cheng, J. V. Rao and Sukumar Party. In this tutorial, we will discuss problem set 2.3, problem number 2.32. A weight Q is suspended from point B of chord A, B, C, the ends of which are pulled by equal weights P overhanging small pulleys A and C which are on the same level. Neglecting the radii of the pulleys determine the sag BD. If L is equal to 3.66 meters, P is equal to 18 N newtons and Q is equal to 44.5 newtons. That means <clears throat> there is a string we can consider A, B, C which passes over the pulleys A and C. At the two ends, P and P is connected. At somewhere, Q is attached. Because of this, deflector position is shown in the figure. Now, our interest is to find how much is this distance. Now, a concept required to solve the problem is, let us recall this concept. If any system consisting of strings or cords or ropes, then the force will develop and the developed force is along the string and it is away from the support. With this concept, let us go to the solution. Consider the point B. What are the various forces acting at point B? We will discuss now. ABC is a string. Now since P load is attached at the string here, the force developed inside the string is P and it is also like this P so that it is under equilibrium. When you are looking from point B, it should be like this. Similarly, this side also we attach load P and from the concept of equilibrium, the developed force when looking from point A, the force is P and when you are looking from point A this side, it should be like this. And to satisfy the equilibrium condition from point B, the force is like this. Now, let us see what are the various forces acting at point B. The first force is the weight Q acting in the downward direction, that is Q. Next is, just now as we mentioned, the force along BC and it is away from point B and that magnitude is P. Now, the force in the string BC is P along BC and it is away from point B as we discussed just now. Similarly, the force in AB is along AB and it is away from point B and the magnitude is also equals to P. The reasons we just discussed just a few seconds back. Now, let this angle is alpha and let this angle is beta. Since we don't know uh, these angles, any relation is not given between these two angles. Uh, let us assume these two angles are different and let this angle is alpha and let this angle is beta. Let us transfer all the forces onto a separate xy plane for easy analysis. The first force Q is 445 acting downwards. Next force P, P value is given as 89 newtons. So this is 89 newtons that is P. And the another force P is equal to 89 newtons acting like this. We are assuming that this BC makes an angle alpha with the horizontal. Hence, this angle is alpha. And similarly, AB makes an angle beta with the horizontal. Hence, we are assuming that this angle is beta. This system is consisting of three forces. All three forces are meeting at a particular point and all three forces are divergent. Hence, I can apply the concept of sine rule. I have prepared a separate video on the concept of sine rule. P 
please watch it from rk tutorials now according to the sign rule the force for 44.5 divided by sin of angle between other two forces what are the other two forces 89 and 89 i want this angle how i can find this can be considered as 180 minus of alpha plus beta hence i can write this one as 44.5 divided by sin 180 minus alpha plus beta that is equal to 89 that is this 89 divided by angle between other two forces that is these two forces so how much is these two forces of course this is 90 plus beta so you can consider this angle is 90 plus beta hence i can write 89 divided by sin 90 plus beta similarly this 89 force divided by angle between the other two forces that means this angle this angle will be straight away we can say it is 90 plus alpha so you can write the expression 89 divided by sin 90 plus alpha once you frame these three expressions you can take these two expressions first 89 by sin 90 plus beta is equal to 89 by sin 90 plus alpha numerators are equal hence denominator is equal then i can say sin 90 plus beta is equal to sin 90 plus alpha sin 90 plus alpha what is the meaning sin sin get cancel 90 90 gets cancel you will get alpha is equal to beta next i can substitute this alpha is equal to beta here then i will get 44.5 divided by sin 180 minus 2 alpha is equal to you can take any of these expression so you will get 89 divided by sin 90 plus alpha the only unknown is alpha so you can simplify here so 44.5 divided by sin 180 minus 2 alpha is equal to sin 2 alpha is equal to 89 by cos alpha because sin 90 plus alpha is equal to cos alpha now let us try to solve this expression now here i can say 44.5 gets cancelled in two twice so after cross multiplication i will get 2 sin 2 alpha is equal to cos alpha and you know that sin 2 alpha is equal to 2 sin alpha cos alpha is equal to you will get cos alpha and this 4 sin alpha cos alpha is equal to cos alpha cos alpha cos alpha gets cancelled then you will get 4 sin alpha is equal to 1 4 sin alpha is equal to 1 or sin alpha is equal to 0.25 from from that we can find alpha is equal to 14.48 from that i can say this alpha is equal to 14.48 and this is also equals to 14.48 degrees now let us take any of the triangle either c b d or the same is the case with the triangle a d b now from the right angle triangle c b d i can say tan alpha that is tan 14.48 is equal to opposite side that is bd divided by adjacent side that is cd now tan 14.48 is equal to bd divided by since this angles are same 14.48 and 14.48 so this distance is exactly half that is i can say it is 1.88 then you can say bd is equal to 1.83 into tan 14.48 from that you can say the sag bd is equal to 0.473 meters you can also solve the same problem like this by considering the triangle cbd i can write the expression tan alpha is equal to bd divided by cd or bd is equal to cd into tan alpha similarly by using the right angle triangle adb i can write the expression tan alpha is equal to bd divided by ad 
or I can write the equation BD is equal to AD into tan of. Now add these two values, then I will get to 2 BD is equal to tan alpha into CD plus AD. Now CD plus AD, CD plus AD is equal to 3.66. So 2 into BD is equal to tan alpha value is we got 14.48 into CD plus BD is equal to 3.66 or you can say BD value is equal to 0 0.473 meters. You can also solve the same problem using the method of resolution. I have prepared a separate video on the concept of resolution of a force. Please watch it from market tutorials. Now the 44.5 Newton's force acts always downwards. So this 89 I can resolve along x axis and y axis. 89 makes an angle alpha with the x axis. So the horizontal component is 89 cos alpha. The vertical component is the sine. Now we can see it is 89 cos alpha and this is 89 sin alpha. Similarly this 89 makes an angle beta with the x axis. So you can resolve this force along x axis and y axis. The horizontal component becomes 89 cos beta, vertical component becomes 89 sin beta. Now I can apply equilibrium equation, sigma fx is equal to 0, I can take this direction is positive and I can say 89 cos alpha is equal to 89 cos beta or hence alpha is equal to beta. Similarly, sigma fy is equal to 0. If we consider sigma fy is equal to 0, I will consider upward direction is positive and I can write 89 sin beta plus 89 sin alpha is equal to 44.5. Since alpha is equal to beta, I can write sin beta is equal to 0.25 or I can say beta is equal to 14.48 degrees. Now by considering this sec and by considering the same triangle uh, CBD, I can find tan alpha is equal to BD by CD and you know this angle is 14.48 degrees. And I can say tan 14.48 is equal to BD by half of that 3.66 that is 1.88 I can write. And from that I can find this is 0.473 meters.